It's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, it's here, guys, it's here. This did not take any time for it to arrive. <gasps> you know it. You know it. There it is. Let's take it inside. Let's take it to the room. Let's take it to the room. Well, I was finally able to do it and I didn't have to pay scalper pricing to be able to get one of these prized possessions from Ignition Model. Let's go ahead, open this bad boy up and see what special surprises lie inside starting right now. This is actually going to house the special little goodie inside, which is going to be a top secret Mr. Nigata resin 18 scale figure. Carefully pull this out so you don't break it. Hopefully it's not broken. Ignition packages this pretty nicely. There he is, fully painted resin. Check out those details there. So these are all professionally done. Put him right here for now because at the bottom you actually get a small little base. And the base is what's used to be able to make sure that he stands up straight and tall and that he does not fall over. Now, Mr. Smokey Nagata obviously needs a vehicle and that's what's gonna be in this box in the back. So let's move him to the side for now and see what ride he's gonna be sporting today. We've all done this before guys. So you just open this up, slide it out and soon we will reveal the goodie that's inside. Woo! Oh my goodness. There she is. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Smokey's ride. It's top secret Supra, but we're not done here, guys. We're gonna have to actually do a review on this Supra. So let's take it out of its box, put it on the turntable and see what we've got and what we're dealing with. A few moments later. So as some of you guys may already know, this is going to be part of Ignition Models new tooling that they've made for the JZA80 Supra. And that is the top secret series. So this is the very first one that's going to release in 18 scale. They have a whole entire onslaught of different variations of this guys it's going to release behind it. So this is our very first look as to what it's going to look like in person in real life. So. We've got Smokey standing right here judging this review, but I do have some of my own opinions about it, which hopefully he won't get mad. Okay, so guys, as mentioned, this is a special edition, limited edition model. It comes with this card in the background and it has Smokey Nagata's signature. Obviously he didn't sign every single one of these, but this is a nice little card to have uh, in the background like that when you display it. So. Pretty exclusive stuff. So starting with the base, you can see this base has kind of like a carbon twill to it and it's got the red stitching around it. It's not like the standard plastic black bases. And then you've got the metal plaque right here with Top Secret's logo, the JZA80 chassis code. Some of the diehard guys may already notice some differences. This is Smokey's famous 200 mile per hour run that he did over in Europe on the highway where he was pulled over by the cops. Just when Smokey was satisfied with his run, he gets some company. Oh no. The British cops try to catch up. But it looks very similar to the one that he drove, but it's actually not the one that he drove. The original top secret body kit that was actually displayed in that video looks nothing like this. This is actually the super wide body version of the top secret body kit. As you can see from the front bumper, fender, side skirts, and rear and rear bumper here. The front bumper does look similar to that, but it's made for a stock body Supra. So no wide fenders, stock fenders. After aftermarket front bumper, it did include some aftermarket side skirts. The rear bumper was actually factory, but it did have some rear mud guards that go right here. So it didn't have the widened fender. Now, the spoiler was also different. It wasn't this GT type of spoiler. It was a more of a lowered profile in carbon fiber and the hood was actually carbon fiber and it was not vented like this. However, they did try to stay true to that Supra by putting on the inky wheels here. It's got all the decals that you may be reminiscent of that was displayed on the actual car. And then the gold color is not going to be exactly the gold that he uses. However, super close, close enough. And as you can see on the driver's side, it's got more of the the decals that you may remember recall from the actual vehicle. Now, why did Ignition Model make it like this? The short and easy answer is the fact that they made the tooling out of this body 
kit for the Supra. What they did is they kind of went a little bit of a lazy route even though I love ignition model, use the existing tooling that they made for the series of supers that's gonna be coming out here in the near future. And they just made a version of it using the wheels and the decals. The spoilers are gonna be just like that on the new release 18 scales as well. So that's where all this comes from, even though it does look like the one he drove. Sorry, Smokey, I know you're very disappointed in me. Outside of that, it is still an absolutely fantastic looking vehicle that's got all the details for the brake, calipers, the wheels. I love the lowered stance that Ignition always does. It's got these awesome looking 97, 98 headlights looking super clean. It even, they did even de-lined it. So it's got a lot of clarity in the headlight. Got top secret logos. It's got blingers here. It's got all the little details you can think of. Wipers, washer nozzles, hood pins, window banners. And even on the inside, it's rocking Recaro seat. It also has the gold rope cage and even in the back rear here you can see some details for the seat it even had retained the seat and it's got a rear carbon fiber strut bar driver side gonna have the takata seat belt more of that roll cage steering wheel there all the center console details oh and look at that on the passenger side a little bit hard to see but you can see some of the gauge pod that is on the existing airbag area so pretty neat to see that and then going into the rear you've got the tail lights you've got this awesome rear diffuser here you've got the exhaust details right there as well so everything's looking super nice in this thing as far as price point goes special event models are a little bit more expensive obviously because they include a figure and it is a super limited release but for this car it was around the 360 range 360 370 plus shipping and this actually arrived super quick it released on monday and it got here today which is thursday so uh they already had these models available Available because they recently held a special event where you were able to go and pick these up in person. But with all that said, I can't wait to see the onslaught of the other top secret supers that's gonna be coming out starting next month. And let's see how that all pans out. And there you have it guys. It is actually possible to get one of these special event model cars. But question of the day, let me know what you guys thought about this model car. Were you able to get one? What are the scalpers actually selling this model car for right now in today's market? Let me know down in the comment section below so we can all talk about it. If you enjoyed this video and you want to find out more about Ignition Model Special Event Models, you can actually check out a video that I put together in the next slide. I'll see you in that video or the next video. Fresh.